what you guys got another video here for you on how to disable Windows 10 updates permanently now if you're looking to disable uh, Windows 10 update then this video is for you if you can see here we are running uh, version 1709 which isn't the latest version the latest version is 1803 now some people have complained about the Windows update and they don't want to update anymore and they're quite happy to stay as they are for a temporary uh, basis and I'll show you a way you can permanently uh, disable the updates if you want to so just go into search and type services and open up the services here and uh, there's a service in here called Windows Update now the problem is when you disable this sometimes when you reboot it starts to uh, enable itself and I'll show you how to permanently disable it so push stop on the service and then go to the startup type and put disabled now once you go to there go to the recovery tab and then put take no action in all of these here and put zero days inside the reset file count after and you put zero days apply that and OK and you should be OK so let's close this off and click OK here now there is another area inside here which you can disable if you want to but it does disable some other features in Windows 10 and I'll quickly show you that here I'm not going to disable it in this video but if you want to and you're still having problems you can disable this one as well and it's called uh, the background uh, service so you want to look here for background intelligent transfer uh, service and you can disable that one as well you can see it uh, attaches itself to the Windows update but it also um, attaches itself to a lot of other areas as well it means you'd have to manually update those so I've left that one alone uh, for this uh, video but you can if you want to now uh, going down to this search box here we're going to type inside here reg edit and there's a little registry tweak you can do that sometimes stops the Windows uh, 10 update I'm going to go into here and then what we're going to do here is navigate down to HK local machine come down and go to software drop the little bar down on the side there and then drill down to policies and then Microsoft and then drop down again and inside here you want to look for Windows and then just drag this open here so inside the Windows what we want to do is put Windows update in here but you can see there's not one in here so we need to create that so right click on the Windows folder and go new new key and then type Windows update all one word two capitals W and U so just put that inside there like so and then push enter and uh, what we're going to do is create another folder inside the Windows update folder so just right click on the Windows update folder and go to new again new key and we're going to type it a U okay and then inside there on the right hand pane go new D word 32 bit value now we want to name this uh, registry key a capital A capital U and then options with a capital O all one word as you can see here and give that a value of 2 and that means it's going to notify for download and notify for install so that's what we want to set that as just in case now we can close all this off so I'm just going to go back and close these up and then we can close this out okay let's move on to another thing that you can do to make sure that it's permanently uh, not going to install any updates so I'm going to go to settings here and then go up to uh, network and internet and if you're on a Wi-Fi connection click on the Wi-Fi here and click on your uh, connected Wi-Fi and you can see here I'm connected via Wi-Fi so I'm going to click on this here and you want to move all the way down to where it says metered connection and meter connection basically when you turn this on it will say if you have a limited data plan uh, and you want more control over your data usage make this uh, connection a metered uh, network and that means it's not going to push out any large updates or anything like that so that's another way that you can set that if you're on a Wi-Fi connection so next up what we want to do is go down to the search box here and uh, we're going to type in here gpedit.msc and uh, this is going to give us the group policy editor now you will need to have Windows 10 Pro and above to use the uh, group policy editor but we're going to go to administrative templates Windows components and then pull down on the little bar here until you find Windows update 
there we go click on this one and on the right hand pane what we're looking for here is configure automatic updates which is in the settings list on the right hand side here I'll just quickly show you down here and you can click on this you can see it's not configured and uh, you can read about it in the left hand side there it tells you exactly what all the numbers mean and uh, I'm going to go inside here and we're just going to put this on disable and this will then disable any sort of automatic updates on that system click apply and click OK so there's a bit for everyone here uh, if you've got Windows 10 Pro or home you can still uh, block your Windows updates by using some of these methods and you can see here in the list here it tells you what they are to notify before downloading and installing any updates three and so on four there's a few others there five and a few other bits and pieces but you can read all that at your own leisure so I'm going to close this off now and we're going to move on so what we can do here now is come down to the search box and we're going to go into here and type task and you can see scheduler there click on task scheduler and uh, once you're inside here click on the task schedule library Microsoft Windows pull that down a bit and then drill down and what you're looking for here is the you can see update and uh, orchestrator but we're looking for the Windows update first so go into the Windows update and you should see automatic up the top there you can see run end and, dis and disable on the right hand side and you can right click on these so the automatic update app here what you want to do is disable these these are all to do with the Windows update so we're going to right click on these and disable all of these as well so disable and you can see the status now has been disabled schedule start and this is again for your Windows update you can click on the right hand side I'm just showing you both ways here click disable here and right click and disable they're all to do with Windows update and once they're disabled they will not run there we go let's move up and uh, till we go to the orchestrated update here or update orchestrator and then we're going to disable the update assistant here now if this has already been installed then you need to disable these otherwise it will continuously try to search and update okay and set a schedule for updates if you've got a little blue uh, flag symbol on your desktop you need to go to at cpl and you can uh, click on this and uninstall the assistant you can see Windows 10 update assistant just uninstall this and this will stop the update from coming just click install there we go and this should remove the update folder if there is one on the system already but I'll quickly show you what it looks like so you can see it so let's go down to the file explorer here and go into this PC C drive and you should see some information here like get current and also Windows BT and the Windows 10 upgrade this is the folder that you want to delete okay this is the next version for the 1803 so you'll need to delete this this is three gigabytes in size as you can see here and this is what it's going to use to roll out to the latest version of Windows 10 and if you're not willing to update yet then you can just delete that or right right click and rename it and it will stop that from installing on your system and that's pretty much it you can reverse all these of course and uh, go for Windows update it's not a good idea to leave uh, Windows updates off for long periods of time because then you'll be vulnerable to security risks but other than that you can disable them for a little while and then re-enable them once all the bugs have been fixed. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.